Welcome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. So we're learning innovations and um, every couple of weeks we try and do a stories and teaching and just really focus on a teacher in, in the faculty and find out what's going on in the classroom. And we've been told by others that you're doing some really interesting stuff. So today is all about you, but also about your students and what's going on in the classroom. So I've put a couple of questions together for you just to, you know, mm -hmm. stimulate the, that thinking for you. So is it okay if I ask you the first question? Please do. So firstly, can I get you to introduce yourself and also your role as a lecturer in your particular school, if you just want to quickly give mm -hmm. us a, a brief. I'm Jacob Sibulski mm -hmm. and um, I'm an associate professor in the School of Information and Business Analytics. Um, I teach a variety of things, but at the moment I focus mainly on teaching business analysis. Um, it's one of those difficult subjects that in the past used to be technology oriented, but we shifted it to be clearly business oriented. Mm -hmm. And so we have um, students coming from a variety of different degrees uh, to the subject, but mainly the students of um, Batch of Commerce. And so in the past it was very difficult to engage them with the the tech contents <laughs> and so we try to free the subject of this and uh, make it really engaging and attractive and very different. Oh. So I see you've got some pictures up there on the computer with your students, they're looking pretty happy. Well, so what's the, going on here? Well first of all the subject is based around workshops mm -hmm. and so we have no lectures, no standard tutorials, we have no textbooks, uh, no preparation, no exams and no assignments. Okay, okay. Which is, are we uh, at a university? Looks like, uh, where is the contents, where is the university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what we do, we have a very short uh, introductory talk to students, half an hour, and then it's a two and a half hour workshop. And the students work in, in teams uh, solving problems. Every week there's a different problem, there's a mini case study, and they work very, very hard because every week they're assessed. Mm -hmm. So whatever they produce at the end of two and a half hour session uh, is accessible. Wow, okay, so it's um, a really different way of approaching It's a very different way, it's um, like in the past we would say students don't learn anything, let's put twice as much material, yeah. whatever's going to be left in the mind is uh, Hopefully uh, it comes out at the end. remaining, yeah. whereas uh, what we do is to say we just, students are not going to learn so let's put half the material in it and uh, the rest of students are going to guess, they're going to discover, they're going to learn from each other, and uh, they're going to learn from us mm. if they want to, if they want to. Okay? Great. So, so how have you found most of them work in teams? And I think you have a motto, um, teamwork is a privilege, not an obligation. I kind of like that. Well, basically so, what happens is um, um, students are students. And so they can come late if they wish to, or they could come on time if they wish to. If they come on time, they end up working in a team. If they come late, they end up working on their own. Mm. And so even if the assessment is individual, they work in teams. And we encourage students to um, help each other, to give each other's feedback. Uh, it's not so much peer assessment, but peer evaluation of work. Uh, so working in a team is actually um, helping them a lot. So sometimes we have students who in other subjects would not be doing well, mm -hmm. but they're learning from the teammates. I always believe that it's a much more powerful um, format. Mm -hmm. I never learned much from teachers, but no. I learned a lot from my colleagues. Yeah, no, that, so, you know, the old saying kind of makes sense, you know, two heads are better than one. Yeah, with four heads. <laughs> yeah, it's going to make um, it a lot better, isn't it? I mean, I think, I think the research is really clear in teaching and learning anyway, that mm -hmm. teamwork is um, really beneficial for you know, accessing knowledge than rather doing things on your own. And it comes in student evaluations, like halfway through this, the term we ran Jacob Fixit questionnaire. Mm -hmm. So students had opportunities to um, put ideas and comments about the format. Yeah. And one of the most important things they said is they enjoy working teams. Mm, that's great. Um, they also enjoy coming to the campus. Mm -hmm. So so those latecomers are getting fewer and fewer. Oh, uh, the latecomers uh, instantly they realize that it makes no sense coming late. Yeah. Um, second thing is that we tell them reading is optional. Um, if they want, they can read before, but they don't have to. Uh, also, the materials are available for the workshops before. They could come prepared. Mm -hmm. And so it takes about two weeks for them to realize that the expectations coming. Mm. Having pre-read things is actually mm -hmm. beneficial because they could be achieving high results. And so is this, uh, what year level was your unit at? 
It's a first year. Okay. So, so it's a very large... It's kind of uh, nice that you're doing it a first year because you're getting them ready, you know. So yeah. in a sense, you're breaking, you know, old patterns that can't even be established well, yet. I used to run very large uh, first year uh, core subject and um, I always struggle engaging students. Mm. So um, this is a smaller cohort, but it's growing rapidly. I think that um, the words students getting out. enjoy yeah. doing it. So we have about uh, 200 students on campus mm -hmm. and uh, we run them in large um, venues so it's mm -hmm. um and do you have students. do you have off-campus students as well we have off-campus students so how do you um how's that going because you know that's always tricky and it's a it's a question i get from a lot of unit chairs mm -hmm. or course directors that um you know that face-to-face -face is very important but mm -hmm. that offline you know online is also really important so how are you yeah. what are the challenges there do you think okay, the main challenge was to create groups and um, like here groups are created week by week basis uh, you can't do it off campus so mm -hmm. in off campus sessions we have uh, three week sessions so groups last for three weeks and then we swap them and uh, so the, the off campus groups work on three workshops at a time and they have flexibility how they want to structure the time and so similarly to on campus what we do is to have sort of tables um, like we can see students work around the tables yeah. um, and um, we give them individual feedback on uh, within the team so mm -hmm. each team is treated as special team and we engage with them um, in that feedback what happens is that we don't need to create artificial tutorials okay they work on the work uh, whatever is prescribed and assessed um, and we help them out along because part of the teaching happens in the workshop yes. exercise yeah. rather than us giving talk. Um, so what happens is that um, assessment uh, of the presence of assessment is driving the work and um, they are able to achieve high distinctions mm -hmm. because um, within the two and a half hours time slot we give them four or five uh, iterations of feedback. Sometimes they want to give us the assignments and said not good enough go back and fix it right and so um, it's really hands-on it sounds very hands-on hands -on. and um, and students are actually working incredibly hard uh, mm. some students say they never worked so hard in their life <laughs> but they enjoy it uh, because it's a teamwork um, they have opportunity to improve yeah um, they are very engaged um, the, the projects we give them are open-ended so mm -hmm. they could be very creative mm -hmm. um, we start with creativity sort of cover this picture yeah but then very quickly it becomes a business problem where right. they solve real life problems like mm. in supply chain in uh, uh, mm. managing company and so on i think it sounds really interesting because um in a sense you're using that two-hour workshop and you're providing feedback and you're looking at assessment but also you're looking at in in a sense a work integrated learning kind of framework where you're getting mm. them ready for jobs because that's what they're going to do yeah. in real life, you know, they're going to work in teams. And enough of that, uh, it makes no sense to, to give them a task and penalise them that they can't do it. Yeah. So basically, as in work environment, um, they need to aim for perfection. Mm -hmm. And uh, the perfection is achievable. Mm -hmm. So uh, to get a bare pass, they could do it in an hour. They still have an hour time to perfect it and make it better, and they, they do. And uh, we set them challenge problems for each workshop and all teams um, attempt it. There's not a single team that would not attempt challenges. Mm -hmm. um, and because we give them feedback how to improve and we guide them to the uh, perfect point, they, uh, they struggle and uh, they deliver. Okay. So it's really satisfying for us as teachers and we work, we work as a teaching team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can um, you explain that a little bit more? Because okay, that's, we, kind of, that's for it really we, interesting. We have very large classes. So we have open plan um, and we could have between 80 and 100 students in there and they split into teams of four or five or three. Some of them work individually as I mentioned before. And so we give them the problem, they, they work in teams and we circulate around and give them feedback and guiding them. Um, and um, as a team we rotate. We we could be servicing two separate rooms, um, like in this building at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we actually have one room of 80 students, another one of 60 students. And um, 
it's a lot of hard yeah. work. Um, I bet you're tired afterwards. <laughs> we are tired, <laughs> but it's it's so enjoyable because you can see students learning. Yes. Uh, as unlike um, giving them assignments to do at home. Yes, you're actually seeing. You can see them. Yeah, you're seeing. Learning. It's like a lab laboratory in many ways, oh, isn't it? It's it's fantastic, and so. Mm. Uh, and students are very excited and uh, they are, it's a very noisy class. So well, the whole building is buzzing uh, when this is happening. That sounds wonderful. And uh, the class was so full at some stage that we spilled into the corridors. Wow. So we had tables in corridors. That's uh, what we like to hear. Ah, it's great. And students come. Um, we don't have problems with attendance. No. Every week is assessed. Mm. Every week is 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, they have flexibility to miss out on a couple of, of weeks, so we pick 10 best out of 12 um, accessible pieces of work. And um, they, uh, they really want to get the best. Oh, the right, results are wonderful. very high. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in trouble, I'm sure, with the faculty. No, I don't <laughs> think you are. I don't think you are because we're certainly interested in what innovative teachers are doing and you're certainly a category there, Jacob. So. Okay, we might finish there and okay. thank you for your time. Thank you. And um, hopefully we'll get some great feedback from the viewers.